there are three main types of analytics that is applicable to human resources one descriptive analytics predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics today on hr insight i'm going to be looking at predictive analytics in human resources speaking about predictive analytics Predictive analytics is the practice of extracting insights uh, from the existing data set and using that insight to be able to predict unobserved or unknown events. By extension, when we're doing predictive analytics, we are trying to forecast into the future. Knowing fully well that descriptive analytics help us to describe the past, why predictive analytics tells us to tell us what would happen in the future predictions can be made about future events by analyzing current and historical data historical data is usually described using descriptive analytics now when it comes to uh, predictive analytics in order to do predictive analytics you need multiple statistical techniques you would actually use a combination of multiple statistical techniques such as correlation regression logistic correlation decision trees and many others would actually be used if you are to use predictive analytics in nature what are those scenarios uh, that predictive analytics become useful for some examples of prediction scenarios in hr are uh, based on business growth numbers what should our ed count look like next year now while looking at the current performance of the organization today by the growth numbers hr can do manpower planning to be able to predict to be able to do a forecast of what the ed count should look like next year if we are able to get a revenue of 10 billion this year with a thousand employees if we are to increase our business growth to say revenue to times two next year does that translate to doubling the workforce that's a prediction scenario in nature another interesting prediction scenario in nature is this what training programs should we invest in to get maximum customer satisfaction this would be very applicable when you're looking at the impact of the training on the customer satisfaction and for you to be able to make this prediction you need to collect data what are the kind of trainings that we have been doing how is that related to customer satisfaction how is that related to customer satisfaction and how can that affect future training programs that we can send our employees for also what is the impact what will be the impact of new policies on employee engagement employee engagement is a very critical is a is very critical to human resources because from the employee engagement survey you can be able to know what the employee satisfaction what the employee satisfaction index look like now if there's a change of policy definitely there will be a corresponding effect on the employee engagement you would not be able to know if you don't check so there will be a survey you collect the data and be able to make a prediction so if for example we're going to be increasing salary next year or in a couple of months will that affect employee engagement all of that examples of prediction scenarios in human resources as a stepping stone to you being able to do predictive analysis very well in hr you must start by understanding statistics in human resources the video showing right now is devoted to statistics in human resources if you are to do start predictive analytics in hr i would advise you to start from there thank you very much i'll see you in the next episode